Hey, get back here. So a lot of people ask me on Twitch or any platform, like, hey, how do I make coins with a low amount of coins? And I say, do the gap, path it, ba gap pack method. And they're like, oh, what's that? I'm like, well, don't you watch me? And so now I want to create this video because I've talked about it so many times in the past Market Mondays. I can just say, like, all right, watch this video specifically on the gap pack method in order to make your coins because it only costs 500 coins to start. Of course, you want a little bit of a buffer. So you got, I don't know, 20,000 coins. Probably is a good spot to start with. And this won't work all year, right? This won't be working in June. But generally, up until this point, so the last, what, four or five months, it has been hitting. And just recently, it got even better because theme teams have kind of taken off. And I'll talk about how that plays into it. And we'll talk about, there's not a limited time card, but we'll do that at the end of the video today. Uh, but first, let's take a look for a word from our sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Also, I got, a, I got a new OBS today, so I'm sorry if anything's screwed up, but hopefully it's okay, sounding at least for your end. So, a, do a download update to help with Twitch. But, here we are. Gap Pack Method. What does that mean? Okay? Basically, you want to go over to Players. Well, you can go Feature, too. All the way over this Get a Player. Gap. Not Get a Gold. Get a Gold's a loser. That's if you're trying to pull for, like, Limiteds, which we'll do in a little bit for the new Limited today. Get a Player. You pull it out of the 62. I'll, actually, I'll show you the odds, too. So you look at this card. Oh, you're okay, I got a silver. That's not the greatest. He's a strong safety Chicago run support. We'll take a look at that in a bit. We'll talk about what you're kind of looking for out of it. But let's take a look at the odds first. So there's a 32% chance that you get a 75 plus in it. 100% chance that you get a 62 or greater. So, And then a 5% chance that you get an 81 overall or better, which, which is kind of nice odds for these. These usually are pretty bad. So we'll keep opening a few of them. Basically, what you're looking for is high-value silvers, power-ups, and you know high overall cards to make your coins, right? It's 500 coins. A lot of silvers right now due to theme teams. Due to theme teams and some other factors are going for quite a bit, mainly theme teams. The, the higher-end cards, there are some nice ones. The exchange sets I'll talk about in a bit, what the target there. AJ Terrell, okay, Falcons theme team. We'll see. Like, so the certain positions that you really want to look at for these silvers are the theme team ones that I talked about. Positions like offensive line, right? Because it's hard for teams to get all their offensive linemen, guards especially. Offensive linemen are great silver pulls. You want to look at them on the block. Tight end, fullback, defensive line, linebackers are generally good silver. Um, not all of them, of course, but there are a lot of big hits, is what we like to call them in the industry, um, in those packs. Um, so another gold. So basically, 500 coins is what you're pulling them for. Now, if we go look at the market, what do these silvers sell for just generically, right? The worst silver on the block. If we filter down to those low-end silver, 62 to 65, what are these prices at? 250, 500. Okay, so you can sell it for 500. You got to wait an hour. That's generally not the greatest, right? If you put one of these low-value ones, you know, like Divergence, only going for 500. Are you kidding me? I always buy a virgin. I like to sacrifice a virgin to get better pack odds. But anyways, 500 coins. And so you're like, oh, well, if I list that, I'm going to lose 10%. I'm going to lose 50 coins. Yeah. You got to wait kind of 50 minutes for them to sell, 45, 50 minutes for them to sell at that ratio. So it's like you're not going to lose anything. But we're looking. We're hunting. We don't want to bog your auction house down with low-end stuff like that. So we'll use those. Uh, end up we're exchanging low-value silvers. High-end silvers, same price, 475 here. You're like, eh. 700 might, might sell, maybe not, but uh, you're like, okay, well, you're, at least I'm not losing much. I mean, yes, because it's so low investment, you're not losing much if that's the way you want to go. But we're going to use these things to exchange because right now, if you look through, I'll, I'll show you frozen players on uh, zero chill. Frozen players, ones that you're trying to target here with this pack pull with exchanges, some of these things... And they have dropped a considerable amount. Some of them are going for quite a bit. I want to really look at, uh, yeah, I guess 10K they're down to. That's not a big deal. Who's the, who's the uh, most wanted one? A couple days ago, this is going crazy. Bradbury, where you at, where you at, where you at? He was like much more expensive. The big Janu Smith, there he is. Janu Smith. This card is one that we're hunting for in those exchange sets. Like 40, yeah, 47K for him is the John Smith card. So that's a huge hit. 
Um, so you definitely want so that's a 75 overall. The same could be said about power ups. Power ups are big hits. Sadly, the the you know the the mutt the big mutt cards aren't it. And, and we can go and take a look at it better probably on mutt head for the big hit power ups. So just go po uh, power up program. Uh, let's sort by price descending. And you can see kind of what power ups are going for. They're going to be a lot of these cards. Sadly, let's look for Anthony Bar. Nope, 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 nope. Where do we want to go? Non like Eric Rowe. Is he in packs? God dang. It's so hard to remember which ones are in packs now versus which ones are in the sets. Hicks couldn't be in sets with that price within packs. I, I I'm sure some of these might be. Usually like Tyree Kill power ups are pretty decent. Uh fast guys. The strong safety for the Bears or free safety for the Bears. It's pretty good right now. Allen's power up. Right, I think that I think that one can be pulled in pack. Yeah, Eddie Jackson. Um, yeah, I don't, I can't remember which one of these are in packs versus not um, on sets. But anyways, like look, look at the amount of these powers. Like Lattimore looks decent. Is Glover a power up out of that packs? But anyways, so look, power ups are also good hits too. Some of them are better than others. Other power ups are pretty much useless. You just got to quick sell them or sell them a block for no no gain. But that's what we're exchanging up for, and then we exchange, and you're like, okay, well, we go up to exchange for 75s, and then what, okay? So once we get to the golds, and I'll, I'll show it to you. Okay, we want our divergent, nice. I'll show you I'll show you the couple of golds that I pulled. I didn't pull many, but generally you want to pull like 20, 30 at a time maybe, and then you go ahead and take a look at what they go for the market. Kappa, what are you at? 650. So that's, a, that's an okay profit right there. Um... AJ Terrell, is he going for anything? He's 850. You could probably sell him for this guy just listed it three minutes ago. AJ Terrell's a slight profit there, too. Becton, 600. That one's not great either. Core rookies could go in that set, but it's not that great of a set. So, nothing phenomenal of the three that we pulled, but they're all technically coin makers, right? So, we're not, this isn't going to be like bonkers, but there are coin makers out there. If you just list them for the price, you're making coins, which is exactly what you want to do. This isn't like a get rich quick scheme. This is a grind it out. Okay? So, say you're like, well, I can want to, I want to take my chance with the sets, the exchange. Say, say you find a card that maybe isn't profitable or like that right away. You then go into there are two well, there's like three or four sets actually. Exchange player set, depending on what you get here, exchange all the way up to this gold core, this gold exchange. Now, there are some, and myself in the past said, hey, we're just really looking to exchange up to the 80s because of the valuable ones. And this does fluctu fluctuate through the year which ones you want to exchange. Right now, because we want to target that Jonu Smith, we're going to do the 75 to 79 exchange, right? And exchange for those cards are for 70, 74 over our golds. Otherwise, other than that, if we're not targeting high golds because they're going expensive, we will go over to Superstar MVP. We will go down to the 76 to 78 Superstar MVP player because it only takes three of them to get that card, to get those you know high golds. And then from there, we take those high golds, we put them into one of two chan one of two sets. Team of the week, weeks one and two are really nice. Really, really nice, okay? And then also the 50. The 50 over here on the far right, I might switch back, I might go back to team of the week in a second, but the 50, you're like, oh, do I do 81, 82, 83, 84, 85? Well, let's take a look at what their prices are right now. And of course, if you're watching this, you know, a month from now, you, you want to take a look and uh, update these figures. So I did it right here, the 50 exchanges. Which ones you want to go? 81 takes eight high golds. But the thing is, 81s, these start at 75. 82s are 75s. And then once you get to 83s, these ones are 77, sadly. So these ones are 77. So if you do the superstars, you'll have 76 leftovers, which are fine throwing into the team of the week set. But the 77s, basically right there with the 83 overall is the best return right now. But 84s and 85s are not bad on a per gold level. So there you go for your high goals to exchange at that ratio. And then these things sell almost instantly. They're also better to sell on Fridays when those cards, you know, when people are demanding those 85s in packs. These ones, because they're kind of older, you don't really need it. You can just sell those any time of the week. These things generally go up um, through the week. But that's what the prices are now. Of course, that changes through the year if you're watching this two months later. Because new cards come out and old cards change prices. So, 
there you go. See how it says 80 to 175 to 79 right there in the a little bit a little over. And then right here is 75 and then right here is 77. So just want to let you guys be aware of that. And then like always you can, you know, do the sets for the big card if that's what you truly desire instead. But yeah, team of the week. Later on weeks, I mean, there's some decent ones in here, but like, you see how it's like 78 to 82 players to earn that 81 to 89? It's a little higher, it's a little more expensive, versus week one and two in here, we take a look, it's it's 675 to get the 78 to 86 overall team of the week player, because these things are instrumental in going into team standout sets, which are why they have such value there. You can always go to the team affinity and do your own sets too, as some of these things have been profitable and probably are still Profitable a lot of times to do them because the power-ups are so expensive. So do you see all these Team of the Week cards that are needed? These are all camp coming from Team of the Week Week 1 and 2 sets. But there you go. There's kind of like the gap pack method. Pull. Look for your valuable silvers, your theme team silvers. I'll pull some more. Uh, but the three that I pulled were all profits, just selling them straight up on the market, which is something I do suggest you guys do. Um, and if you don't want to do that, look to the uh, exchange at 71, TJ Carey. See, I can't check the price from that screen. We'll pull, like, you know, a few more here. We do have a limited time card we're going for. I want to show you that. Another gold. So, gold's really nice. 75, that's straight money. That's 1,000 right there just on exchange value. Then I can look up their actual value if he's needed on a theme team or not because there's some very popular theme teams. Um, Seah Seahawks is a very, very popular theme team. So, But Puna Ford, I don't know if he's really demanded for the Seahawks theme team very much. Golds are generally a little bit less valuable than silvers because people pull for golds a lot more and they sell them because they feel that there's more value in gold. Silvers seem to do a little bit better sometimes with rare. So he's only 800k, even though he's on a valuable theme team. But golds, you know, just kind of that way. This this one right here, 950. Okay, both profits carry right here, listed up. He is an L. You could list it for 550. This is one that I, this is a classic one that I'd exchange up. I would class. I would definitely exchange this one up to a high gold because you know he's got more value to me being exchanged than he is being sold on the market for that so of the six that i pulled five were profits one's an exchange guy so that's the gap pack method it's a grind but if it weren't a grind it wouldn't be profitable right if you could pull 100 gap packs at once it wouldn't be profitable at all so there it is otherwise the card that just came out in game is stephen gilmore's newest Let's take a look. He's not on Mudhead yet. Let's see if look, he's on the block. There's something I want to do at the end of the video. Sorry, it's, it's dragging on a little bit longer. We'll pull some good of golds for him, but I, I don't really see me getting him. So let's see if he's in packs yet. Um, this is, you know, well after the time frame. Gilmore is not on the block because EA is a jerk. Right, wasn't he? He was teased last night to come out today, right? What am I missing? Why isn't Gilmore in the block? On the block. EA, EA, what's going on? He was teased last night, 94. Is this coming Monday? Tomorrow limited Gilmore. It said tomorrow in the, in the, tomorrow limited Gilmore is dropping. And he's not, he's not on the block yet. All right, sweet. Thanks, EA. 94 overall, zero chill. We already looked at the 94 filter. All right, sweet EA, he's not in packs. I'm not going to pull for him. There you go, stats. He's not very good. He's a little slow. He'll be way more expensive. Unless unless the re-rolls get him. He should be putting re-rolls and actually be really cheap. But the thing is, like, uh, I, I saw a stats from the re-roll odds. 89 or 93 overalls are coming 9 out of 650. Let me see if I can't find it here. Here it is. So out of 640 rolls, you guys can see that, right? 640 rolls, only 9 93s got hit. So what's the 94 going to hit at? Under 1%. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I guess, you know what? It could be worse. Whatever. Bits watch call to action. See you tomorrow. Hopefully this video helped. Thumbs up if it did. Thumbs down if it didn't. Until we meet again.